what's up libra how you feeling sugar snaps let's get into a quick message for you libra take only what resonates with you and leave the rest for somebody else out there okay this is going to be a quick message for you guys i don't have that much time today but libra i will talk to you again later i promise all right you guys but let's get into the message libra let's get a quick message for you talk to you real fast happy valentine's day libra all right make sure you check out the early tea the late night teas as well i feel like you guys don't really watch that but those are messages in there for you as well <laughs> All right, Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rise, and North Node. Take only what resonates with you and leave the rest for somebody else out there. Libra, let's get a quick message for you today. Father God, Holy Spirit, what message do you have for the Zodiac sign of Libra? What messages do you have for my beautiful and handsome Libras out there? Shout outs to the Libra men as well that watch. I see you guys. I see y'all on y'all shit. Divine masculines out there. Happy Valentine's Day to the lovers, Libra. Let's see. Libra, Libra, Libra. Sun, moon, Venus, rising, and North Node. My beautiful Libras. Two more shuffles for you, Libra. What's going on, Empress? Emperor, what's going on, Libra? Libra, what is happening, sugar? What is happening with you? Libra. Okay. First card out. It says the middle line between opposite extremes. And then we got codependency at the bottom of the deck. And we got you right behind it. Libra justice in the reverse. Rebirth in the reverse. Child, what is going on, Libra? What the hell? Some of y'all could be dealing with another Libra, a Scorpio, somebody with that highly aspect in their chart. Libra, you could also be like a third deacon. You could be on the cusp of Libra, Scorpio. But, uh-uh, Libra, what the hell? What the hell? What the hell is going on? Somebody's codependent, okay, on y'all. The middle line between opposite extremes. Somebody here could be very codependent on you, Libra, and that's an injustice, okay? It's time for you to rest and rejuvenate, okay? Spirit don't want you to overthink a situation, is what I'm hearing, so get out of your head. Don't overthink a situation, Libra, all right? Yeah, exactly. Air in the reverse. Don't overthink a situation. You and this person are unparalleled. Again, the middle line between opposite extremes. You two have nothing in common. Somebody here that's codependent on you and your energy, you have absolutely nothing in common with this person. Unparalleled, the middle line between opposite extremes. Don't overthink this situation. It's time for you to rest, okay? It's time for you to rest and rejuvenate, Libra, okay? I'm telling y'all, for some of y'all, y'all got strong Scorpio placements or this person do. And like I said, some of y'all could be third deacon Libras. You could be close to the sign of Scorpio, okay? You could be on that Libra Scorpio cusp, okay? But trust your intuition, Libra. You need to trust your intuition in a situation. We have trust your intuition in a reverse. Somebody here could be trying to play uh, mind games with you or to trying to mentally, psychically attack you here, okay? Somebody here don't want you to see a um, clear vision of something, okay? Somebody here could also try to sacrifice you, all right? But that did not work. We got sacrifice in a reverse, all right? But Libra, we got the world card here too, okay? Something here is completely over. A cycle has closed out here. All right, and somebody here is upset because the cycle between you and them has closed out. This person is very codependent. Whoever this is, they are extremely codependent on you, Libra. But now you are spending time in solitude. You're healing, okay? Some of you could have Virgo in your chart. You could uh, be dealing with a Virgo, okay? But if you are dealing with a Virgo, I feel like this is a good person for you, okay? This is somebody that you should be um, connecting with during this time, all right, I'm hearing that the Virgo could be good for you, but y'all just take it as a resume because for some of you, there was a terrible Virgo in your life and then you could have a beautiful Virgo coming into your life. Some of y'all dealing with multiple Virgos or Scorpios or another Libra like yourself, okay? But something significant about Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio energy here. But I also just feel like you taking on this Virgo energy, whether you got Virgo or not in your chart, you are somebody that is in solitude. You are somebody that's skilled, somebody that could be learning, studying. Some of you could even be going back to school during this time, all right, Libra? But I feel like as you're evolving and working and healing on yourself, as you're working on yourself, healing and evolving, 
it's like this person's just stuck on you this person could be a cancer as well but this person is just stuck on you okay it could be a leo this person could be a scorpio another libra like you a cancer or a leo but somebody here is trying to keep you stuck i'm also hearing somebody here don't want people to see you like somebody here wants you to be hidden so somebody here that's codependent on your energy it's like this person don't want you to go outside. It's like this person wants you to stay trapped in the house and they, they just want you to be put away here. Like somebody here don't want you to have friends. They don't want you. What the fuck? This person don't want you to have friends. They don't want you to be outside. They don't want people to look at you. They don't want people to see how dope you are, how beautiful you are. Like this person just wants to hide you from the outside world. What the fuck is going on here? And if you was in a relationship with this person, that's could have that's how they could have been in a relationship too. Like, you know, don't go outside or don't wear that. Or, you know, like this person wanted, like if you somebody that likes to dress Dress up, Libra, which I'm sure you are. You know, Libras like to dress up. Libra, you like to look really pretty, right? You rule that Venusian, that Venus energy. It's like as you taking care of yourself and you want to look a certain way, this person is like, no, take that off. Take those clothes off. Do this. Do that. Tone this down. Like this person just wanted to like make you like something that you're not, okay? Or make you feel ugly. Try to belittle you. Yeah, strong Leo energy here, okay? We got double Leo here in Cancer energy in the reverse this person could definitely be a leo a cancer a scorpio another libra like you whoever the hell this person is this is somebody that y'all are not connected to at all okay the opposite uh extremes here okay unparalleled spiritual partnership in the reverse this person may want you to believe that you two have some sort of deep bond or connection or you two are spiritual partners and you're no you're not there's nothing spiritual or sacred about this this person is somebody that want to knock you down okay libra this person wants to knock you down yeah this person wants to belittle you yeah this person is upset because you're connecting with someone some of you connecting with somebody that actually is healthy for you and this person has found this out and they're losing their mind okay yes libra this person has also found out that you're healing some of you could be connecting to an Aquarius or a Taurus, and that could be a really good person for you. An Aquarius, a Taurus, or a Virgo could be a really, really good person for you, Libra. And this is somebody that you could be connecting to right now, or you soon will be. And this person is finding that out, and they're pissed off. Yeah, strong cancer here. I'm telling you, this person's a cancer, a Leo, a Scorpio, another Libra like you. This person's a fucking hater. They could be a Sagittarius as well, but this person is mad okay and they hating right now they're hating they're hating on you they're hating on your love life they're hating that you got love coming in this person is mad they need to heal okay something significant about capricorn energy here too capricorn virgo and taurus so something significant about earth energy you could also have strong earth placements in your chart libra but we got capricorn taurus and virgo here but all of the earth signs are in the upright all right and that again is symbolic of your stability as well your stability uh, your stability your foundation everything is secured okay and this codependent person just gonna have to go somewhere clear vision you are right libra some of y'all definitely intuitively know what's going on here you know exactly who's wishing you ill you know which one of your exes is still codependent on you and attacking you like i just feel like you know okay you know you have strong intuition libra you also showing up as someone that's very powerful a magician a master manifester you could be manifesting a lot of like adventure and excitement in your life i'm getting here that a lot of passion is coming back into your life so it's like you being excited libra about life about the future yeah you receiving a lot of good news praise recognition and rewards here somebody here could be a gemini an aquarius or a pisces that was attacking y'all they could have that in their chart yeah this person is like hateful could be an aries as well in the reverse here somebody was attacking your finances but your income just keep increasing here so it's like everything that this person was trying to do it didn't work. It didn't work. They wanted you to see them as your spiritual partner. You know for a fact that they're not. They wanted to attack your finances. Your money keep fucking growing. It says my income is constantly increasing. They wanted to attack your foundation. Your foundation is solid. Like this person also wanted to harvest your energy. They can't penetrate your energetic field. Your energetic field is impenetrable is what I'm hearing. So everything that this person wanted to do it's a fail it's a big fucking fail like a big fail i don't know who lied to this person and told them that they was gonna be able to do this type of shit to you libra i don't know who fucking lied to this person and told them that they was gonna be able to do this type of shit to you libra it's just not going down spirit is not allowing it 
Spirit is not allowing it. Now somebody's saying they miss you, Libra. I got the Six of Cups here. <laughs> Libra, here you are. Six of Cups and a Justice. There you are right there, Libra. Justice. Libra, I also feel like you have multiple people from your past that's missing you. Somebody here wants to apologize for attacking you or apologize for being mean and hateful towards you. This person is now stressed out. They feel like they made a big mistake for coming for you. They feel like they, whoever this is, they know you ain't do shit to them. And this is why the karma is so bad. Five of Pentacles here. This person could be feeling left out in the cold or feeling like they receiving, um, feel like they facing poverty, okay, or feeling abandoned, feeling left out in the cold. They feel like they missed out on the opportunity to be with you. They feel like you the one that got away. But I'm also hearing that this person is in regret because not only is the cycle closed out and you two are never going to be together at all. It's like this person just feels unhappy right now. They feel bad because... They know in their heart that you're someone that didn't deserve this kind of treatment. It's something here where this person could be feeling some sort of guilt right now. There go that five of pentacles again. This person definitely feel like an outsider. They feel like they have no place in your life. But this is somebody that knows that you didn't deserve the kind of treatment that they were giving you. Like this person feel like, you know, they know for a fact there's something wrong here with them. Like, you know, they know that they was doing too much. Somebody here know they did too much. Yeah, this person feel like they was foolish. They was impulsive. This person could have got angry and just snapped and just went in for the kill. Like, this person just wanted to see you suffer. And it's like, what did Libra actually do to you? Now this person is in heavy regret. They disappointed. They feel like they shouldn't have did this. Okay? And now they want to come back. I'm telling you. Now this person want to come back. They sad. They depressed. Could be a Virgo for some of y'all. Somebody here definitely got Virgo in their chart, whether you or them. Yeah, Six of Cups is here again. This person is trying to hold on to you. They're holding on to memories of the past. They can't get over you. They keep thinking about the past, thinking about when you two were happy, when you two were in a better space. This person is stressed out right now. Nine of Swords. They could be losing sleep and shit like that, seeing you in their dreams. They feel haunted by you. It's a whole bunch of shit going on with this person, child. This person could definitely be suffering from insomnia is what I'm hearing. Yeah, this person is heavily burdened and weighed down. The emperor in the reverse. This person is showing up as the emperor in the reverse. This person could also be stressed out about their investment, some sort of financial uh, issues here that could be coming up for this person. Okay, Libra, but here you are, baby, showing up as the empress. So you two are not equally yoked whatsoever. We have the empress in the upright and we have the emperor in the reverse. This person knows that the will has turned. You're on the right side of the will. And this person is on the bottom trying to get to you, trying to catch up here. This person knows for a fact that they got a price to pay, okay? This person knows for a fact that there's some sort of bad karma coming towards them for doing you wrong. Yeah, this person did you wrong, Libra. They could have worked together with a practitioner here as well is what I'm seeing. But this person did not expect the things to go like this. Somebody here could have even gave this person false information on you and lied to them, which also made them become your enemy. For some of you, this person's in regret for attacking you because they listened to the wrong people. Somebody here could have lied to this person and told this person that you was doing something to them and you never did anything to this person. And this is another reason why karma is hitting them. Karma is hitting them and the person that lied to them, okay? But this person sees you as the empress now. They see you in this nine of pentacles energy. They feel like you somebody that should be put on a pedestal. It's like this person holds you in high regard now. But it's too late. Two of cups in the reverse. It's like you don't feel the same way for this person that you once did. If you was ever in love with this person or ever really wanted to be with this person, you may not be feeling that way anymore. And whoever this is, they're spying on you. They're watching you right now. They know that the love has died. Okay? They know that you're not feeling them no more. They know that if they had an opportunity to be with you, they feel like that opportunity no longer stands. But this person just really wants you to know that they're sorry. Okay? They could have worked together with a third party to cause you some sort of permanent ending here. Okay? With that. Remember, we had that card of sacrifice. This person could have worked together with a third party to try to take you out, sacrifice you. I'm also hearing that this person wanted somebody else that they were with to have your energy and that didn't work. Like somebody here wanted somebody that they was in a connection with to possess the energy, the power and the essence that you have, but they couldn't successfully do that. Judgment has been called in this situation for you, Empress. 
everything is working out in your favor moving forward this person knows that judgment to the will of fortune and they unhappy about this shit okay they feel like somebody definitely lied to them they could have been a leo or a cancer or somebody was showing leo or cancer or taurus that lied to this person they could be mad at these people but this person feels like you are manifesting new love yeah you're getting new love here and they pissed off they feel betrayed by a lot of people somebody here could be a gemini or they can have gemini in their chart i'm getting gemini scorpio virgo leo cancer energy could be significant but this person just feel like they listen to the wrong people and i also feel like the people that they listen to is mad at them too like everybody blaming each other everybody mad at each other a queen of swords in the reverse is mad because she's being exposed in some way somebody here could be a gemini libra aquarius or a pisces they can have strong air or Pisces in their chart. But whoever this person is, this was the main culprit here that was lying to this person about you. And now she's receiving karma as well. And she's heartbroken because things have backfired on her. She's also upset because you're receiving justice in this situation, Libra. Here you are with the justice and the upright. Everybody feeling some type of way. But my whole thing is you ain't do shit to none of these people, which is why this is working out the way that it's working out. You never did anything to anybody. So whoever was the main one lying... They should be ashamed of themselves because you ain't do shit to nobody here, Libra. Um, all right, y'all. I hope that this message has resonated, gave you some sort of confirmation, clarity, or guidance. We are 16 minutes in. Libra, I wish that I could talk to you a little bit longer today, but I have to go, sweetheart. I hope you all enjoy your Valentine's Day. Uh, stay blessed, Libra. Stay beautiful. Stay abundant. I love you guys. Peace.